Okay, welcome. In today's video, we are going to talk about RFIs, how to create an RFI, how to send them for review, and how to distribute and view them. The first thing that we wanna do is actually create the RFI. So we're gonna come over here to our project portal and we're going to select RFIs. We can see that we have 80 of them here. We're gonna create one by clicking the Create button and opening up a new RFI screen. Next, we need to fill out the content of the RFI form. So first of all is our subject. This is gonna be peer location and existing utilities for our Ortho Arizona project. It's initiated by Martin Short. The reason for the RFI is going to be a request for design change. Discipline will be civil. And we'll go ahead and assign this to Brant Wadsworth. Next, we have a series of tabs down below. So for our request, we'll say, due to the existing layout of underground electrical and solar utility, blah, 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 we'll leave our proposed solution blank and we'll move on to the next tab, Drawings. Let's associate a drawing that we have in the system to this, and we'll associate this to our foundation drawing. So I'm looking at a listing of our drawings grouped by discipline or division, and I'm gonna look for a foundation drawing. And I will pick it here, there's our foundation plan, and hit Select. That's gonna associate this drawing and allow us to attach it to the RFI. Let's also associate it to a spec. Again, we have a listing of the specifications that are in the system. And let's associate this to the drilled concrete piers and shafts. We could also associate it to a paragraph number, drawing some additional details down below. The next tab is going to show us the review and design team that has been configured on the project that will automatically show up here. I can add or remove additional individuals by clicking this to add or by clicking the trash can to remove individuals. Now we need to save this and add some attachments. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna add some attachments by pulling up my file explorer. I have two images here that are descriptive and showing the issues that we are dealing with. I'm gonna drag them over to my RFI. By doing that, it's gonna attach some additional files to this RFI that we can route and make visible for the reviewers of this RFI. So now when I look at my attachments here, I can see that I have two additional files that have been attached here. I'm gonna go ahead now and validate this. This looks good. And I'm gonna hit the button to submit for review. That's gonna send an email notification out to the review team, letting them know that a new RFI has been created and that their response and collaboration is required. Okay, here is the email that I just barely received for the RFI as one of the reviewers. If I look at this email, I can see some details here. This is the RFI for peer location and existing utilities for the Arizona Ortho Office initiated by Martin Short. And down below we have the question related to this RFI. And here we have a big button to be able to view this RFI in 2020. Let's go ahead and do that and that will open up a web browser. In the web browser now, if I were to open this up, I can see again the details of this RFI. I could click the print button and print this out in a PDF from here, or I could simply enter my response by clicking the button enter response here. Down below, again, we have some tabs. We can see all the drawings that we attached. We can see the details, the spec section that we also associated this with. Attachments, there's the two attachments. If I were to click on the binoculars, it's gonna open the attachment up into the viewer window. So there is the attachment here. We can also annotate this. Um, we can make comments and do other things associated with this. You can download this attachment as well. Uh, we can also select the download all to download all these attachments or do them individually. Then we have the review team. Here's the people that are going to be reviewing this particular RFI and responding to it. The reviewer responses gives us an audit trail of what has happened. 
So we have sent this RFI to Brody Lovinggood and to Lori Anderson, and we can see the date and time that they have received this. Now I'm logged in as one of those individuals, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter a response here. We'll add in the response. And let's upload a sketch drawing. And go ahead and hit submit. So this is allowing that reviewer to actually collaborate on this RFI. If we were to look at the attachments now, we can see that there's a new sketch drawing that was uploaded. When we look at the reviewer responses, we can see that Lori Anderson returned or responded to this RFI at this particular time and her response here. Back in the back end of 2020, we also see that same information. So looking at the reviewer responses, we're going to see that Lori Anderson responded here. We can also see all the attachments. We can see the different status that this RFI is in. And now we could actually go through and say that this is a closed RFI. Once this RFI has been closed, it may need to be distributed to the stakeholders of this project. So we simply would click send to the project stakeholders here and it would send an email out to those individuals, those stakeholders of the project, informing them of this RFI and the response that was related. All of the stakeholders can also see all of the RFIs through the project portal. Let's show that now. You access the project portal through the front end or through the web page of 2020. You'll notice when you come to the website here, there is a link at the top that says project portal and I'm already logged in, but if you hadn't been logged in, you would log in with your username and password and you would be able to have access to all of the projects that you have been given access to. We're working with the Ortho Arizona office. So I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna come in and look at the details here. So from a project portal standpoint, I can see all the stakeholders that are on this project. I'm really interested in our RFI log. So I'm gonna to go to the project documents. Here I can see the current list of drawings, the specifications, daily logs, and RFIs. Now let's find the RFI that we just barely did. You'll notice that we can click this button to create a new RFI if I'm a sub or a stakeholder on this project. Let's scroll to the bottom of our RFI log here. And here we can see the one that we just created, peer location and existing utilities. Clicking on it now, I can see that this RFI has been closed and here's all the details relating to this particular RFI. All the drawings, all the responses, the attachments, and everything related. Hopefully we were able to give you a good introduction to how to organize and enter RFIs in 2020 Construction Cloud. Please let us know if you have any questions or would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demonstration.